Why is social intelligence so important in a negotiation or an argument? Finding those win-wins when you're in a negotiation is something best done through inference. And that's something that you can find in social intelligence or SQ. What do I mean by inference? I mean, you are going to understand the other party's position so well that you are going to be able to maneuver the negotiation or the argument to find a mutually beneficial outcome. You're going to propose it in a way to the other party that would make no sense for them to refuse. This will show a huge amount of social intelligence, which is something that's rarely found in an engineer or technical professional. Raising your SQ is something that effectively makes you an interpersonal psychologist because you're going to start understanding more about those around you and you're going to start being able to see how your larger technical organization operates and those people within your social network. Learning how to better have attunement with someone you just meet. So we're talking about having empathy over time, not just an instant of empathy, but attunement is having a deeper connection using empathy. Go look up videos of when Bill Clinton meets someone. That's something also called charisma, but it's attunement, a social intelligence topic that's very useful for you to get deep very quickly with someone you're just meeting. Having empathic accuracy is another way that you can really get to the core of a negotiation or an argument because you're going to understand the pain point of the other person. So you're going to have accuracy when you're trying to empathize with them. That's going to work much better for you in the negotiation than if you were being purely selfish and only caring about your position. Because if you're in an argument or a negotiation, there's another person or another party present. And if you're not paying attention to them, why do you expect you're going to have good outcomes? When you see people around you that are better at negotiating or having empathic accuracy or having better attunement or charisma, just remember, those people are not geniuses. They just started earlier than you. So you need to acknowledge that you have some ground to make up. So if you wanna get good at this, go put in the work and get good at it. It might seem that some people are just absolute geniuses at this, and there could be some innate talent there. But again, those people have just been practicing and started earlier. This really affects a lot of things where you see people that are masterful at things where it's like, wow, that person is really good at that. I bet they've always been good at that. It actually is more likely that they put in 10,000 hours to be good at that thing. That's considerably more likely. Yes, they probably had a little bit of a talent when they were young, and then they just threw 10,000 hours at it, and now they're absolutely world-class. That's how this happens. It's not an accident. People rarely stumble into being world-class at anything by accident. So if you want to get good at negotiations or arguments, you need to learn how to have better social intelligence so you can really understand your counterparty, and this will help you in many aspects of the negotiation or argument. I trust you've been paying attention to this social intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.